And we welcome you back to Out in the Open. I'm Rick Sanchez. Tonight we uncover America, one nation, one language. That's our question. We're talking about the huge influx of Spanish-speaking immigrants into the United States and the fear that they just won't let go of their original language, that they'll overwhelm English just in sheer numbers. And one day, U.S. laws will actually be written in Spanish. Representative Tom Tancredo fears that. Syndicated columnist Miguel Perez doesn't. They're both back with me right now. Hey, Congressman, let's start with this. The folks that we just saw in that report, if they live in a U.S. city, just because they speak Spanish, or maybe even if they're not here legally, shouldn't they still deserve to get services, emergency services, for example? Sir, absolutely. Nobody's questioning emergency services. But let me do this. One thing, please. Well, I got a lady, a lady in my district wrote me a letter. Uh, and by the way, it's on our website, uh, teamtancredo.org, if you want to see the whole thing. Her name is Diane Myers. She talked about going into a, a store. It was a Walmart store. Could not find the, the item she was looking for. Kept asking everybody. Could not find anybody that spoke English. Finally found a black lady who was stocking the shelves. Asked her. Mm -hmm. she, found, she took her to the, the spot. On the way, she said, I couldn't find anybody else to do this. And the, and the black lady turned around and said, you know, I always knew something was going to bring us together. Who would have thought it would be a language? That was the most profound statement you could make about this issue because that's what we're talking about bringing people together not separating them but two languages and a country of two language languages does separate us that's exactly the wrong way to go but is it doesn't it have a lot to do with what's going on in a particular marketplace if there's a lot of people sure Miguel, who are living sure. let me let me take this to Miguel if I can. if there's a lot of people who just moved into one area they're all first generation you're gonna have more people just by sheer numbers that happen to speak Spanish Absolutely. there right that's what's happening and I don't but you know right. let's, but let's realize let's see clearly that most of those people still recognize that they need to learn English look Rick I went to English courses as a reporter right. a couple of years ago. I spent time in English classes. I would bump into a lot of people who would tell me, oh, at one point some, somebody said to me, oh, half the people in my class are falling asleep. I said, my God, do you mean that they're uninterested in learning mm -hmm. English? I, they said, no, no, no. It's because they have three jobs and they're still here late at night trying to learn English. People are sacrificing. A study was done by NALEO, the National Association of Latino Elected Officials, uh -huh. a survey of 22 cities where Latinos and other immigrants live. They found that there are waiting lists in most of these ESL courses. If the congressman wanted to do something about people learning English, he would fund those courses. He would introduce legislation to fund those courses. We don't have enough money to teach and as many people as, as we have that want to learn English. That's the problem. Amazing, amazing, isn't it, that this country was able to, to actually get established and get to this point in time without ESL and all the millions of people who came here who couldn't speak English somehow found a way to do it. I'm all for people trying to find a way to speak English. Don't get me wrong, but I'm telling you, it's not well, as if it, it's not as if there isn't enough resources. Oh, it, there isn't enough will never, or desire to speak You mean your ancestors language. never took a course? They learned the English on their own, Congressman? Your the ancestors problem. never took a course? No. No, they learned, they, they all learned not. English in No, the oh answer my God. is no. Oh my God. Ab sir, they did not take sir, a course in English. English I'm sorry, they just went to a public school. History. They English went to a public school. Gentlemen, you can't, talk over, you can't talk over each other. You can't talk over each other. Go ahead. We both they went to a points. public. They went to a public school. That's how they learned. They did not take any special courses. That's how my grandparents learned. And my parents were not allowed so to speak that we anything teach but English, English in the home. So you don't my, think we should teach English? My parents were not allowed to. Let's leave it right there, gentlemen. Representative Tom Tancredo, syndicated columnist Miguel Perez. My thanks to both of you for being with us. Pleasure. thousand of you uh, clicked onto our quick vote by the way 74 to 26 those saying yes English only Larry